what is going on homies, it's your boy Stumped back for another OBTC video and in today's video we're taking a look at the new Kazuna banner that has what will be arriving on the 21st of August over here on the Japanese side of the game and a few new characters come with it and the big one is 6 plus carrots. So in today's video we are going to be talking about all the new units and the Sugo Fest structure and sort of seeing if you guys uh, should or should not pull on this particular Su uh, Kazuna Sugo Fest banner. So big shout out to the OPTC uh, Discord, I'm actually over there on their, their Discord this time. Ours is a little bit slow of getting up the 6 plus information of Carrot. So I'm just using the uh, One Piece Treasure Cruise Discord just to sort of cover all bases here. Big shout out to Summit for all the translations as well. As well as the usual culprits. Um, I will mention them when we get to it. But the Kazuna Suga Fest features a new rare recruit that is Bon Clay. So it is not the legend Bon Clay. But it is a new rare recruit Bon, Cl bon Clay. And he is coming with this new Kazuna. Now as you can see from the banner, a Sabo will be available. As well as Toki and the kids. Now, I imagine as well as that, you will have the uh, Fire Tank Pirates or Sanji Pudding. One of the two will either be on that. And because Fire Tank Pirates is on the release of Toki, I think that it would make more sense if Sanji Pudding was available. But we'll find out in a second. So, Multi 1 is a 30 gem multi, which is always nice to see, as Japan doesn't really get too many discounts. Uh, the last poster is a guaranteed to be a limited rare recruit. Multi 2 and 13 are either a boosted unit or a legend, which kind of sucks in my opinion. Um, I'm glad it's only two steps. 3, 6, 10, 15 is a banner unit. So any of the units you see on this banner here, that can include Perispero, Kinemon, uh, the new Bond Clay, as well as the two Legends. And if there are any other um, banner uh, units as well, they'll be included. Uh, multi 4 and 12 is 30 gems and guaranteed to be a boosted unit or a Legend. Nice that it's a discount, but the step kind of sucks. 5 to 9 is guaranteed to be a Legend. 7 and 11 is going to be a Kazuna Sugo limited unit, as well as 8 and 14 being a limited rare recruit. So stock standard Kazuna banner, and then we've just got some information here on what the actual Kazuna does. Now, the Kazuna unit is against uh, Ivankov this time. So, there is a uh, Kazuna uh, free-to-play unit that is Ivankov, which is good because we, we do need more Ivankovs. This is what the actual breakdown of the event does. I'm not going to go through this because we'll go through this once we actually do our Kazuna video. And that's basically all we need to talk about for there. Moving over to the new units now, we have this beautiful... Oh, man. Six plus carrot. A lot of people are getting excited for this one, and uh, in my opinion, she got a very, very good buff. So, during the Kazuna, you can actually farm up her skulls to get this super uh, evolution done over here. To get this super evolution done, uh, and that way you can actually turn your your Legend Carrot into 6 plus Carrot. Now, i got to say the artwork is very, very nice. I was a bit of a bigger fan of the other artwork. Just her face here kind of like gives me the heebie-jeebies. But at the same time, like she was destroying like a giant Big Mom fleet, but... 6 plus carrot, what does she do? For the first two, uh, at the start of the quest, you get two turns of cooldowns. For the first 12 turns, your captain effect will ignore any defensive abilities but for normal attacks, but the crew will be non affected by defensive effects. So, very similar to her V1. You can't use stuff like damage reduction, thresholds, defense up on your side, but you bypass all their defense, uh, defensive effects. Now, this does not include defense up. Defense up is completely different, it's not actually a defensive ability. It's just base defense, which is not really a buff per se. So, Carrot doesn't go through base defense. That would just make her incredibly broken. But stuff like Threshold, stuff like Damage Reduction, stuff like Barriers, you will be Gucci. She um, boosts Fighter Slashes Shooter Cerebral Characters Attack by four times. And increases the chance of landing or matching orbs for these classes. So, pretty good. So, once upon a time, for Carrot, you needed all of your characters to be both of these classes. Now, for myself, personally... I actually overthink teams when it comes to using Carrot, so I don't really use her all that much. But now, all you have to have is Fighter, Shooter, Slasher, Striker, or Cerebral in that tag, and you will get a flat 4 times rate, which is massive! Just getting you know, over to give a 4 times Captain ability that bypasses all defensive effects with pretty much like half of the character pool. It's over half, it would it'd be somewhere over half the character pool. Especially because Cerebral's in there as well. Like, that's just absolutely insane. It makes team building so much easier for this chick. It makes you think a little bit less as you don't have to go, Oh, well, hang on. It's not a slasher and a fighter. I can't really use it to the full benefit on a character. But now, you can just slap those characters on. You can get the most out of your speed farming. And it is going to work very, very well. However, when she becomes the captain during the adventure, she is a 4.5 times captain. So that is really, really nice. This 4.5 times captain, when you become... Um, when you become her in the quest, 
is actually really, really good. Now, most of the time, I'm using Carrot as a captain for me, just to get that two, two turns of cooldown at the start of the quest. But she is really, really good at getting around stuff like special reverse and all those types of shenanigans. And now that she can just be a bit more viable to captain, especially when you're using her as a sub, because you don't have to worry about having all your classes being fighter, slasher, striker, shooter, and cerebral, having both of those tagged in the same unit, it's going to make using her as a sub way, way, way easier. After 12 turns have passed, the captain effect will become still a 4 times captain, but will, uh, and a 4.5 if you become carrot through the quest, but you won't bypass the barriers and the defensive effects, which is a pretty fair trade-off in my opinion. Um, it's actually quite nice just being able to still have damage, even if you have gone past those sort of thresholds. And if you are just using carrot to get around special reverse, that's the big one, then her captain ability this way is actually going to be really, really nice. Her special is pretty similar to what she originally did. For one turn, boost the orbs of fighter slashes, strikers, and cerebrals by 2.25. So a small little 2.25 buff right there. And then she gives minus two cooldown to the crew. Treats quick recovery 10 mobs as beneficial. And when she is a sailor, she will become a captain for three turns now. So three turn captains can be abused very, very nicely. As um, you can get around stuff like the captain swap. As well as sort of getting that... Um, the going through barriers and stuff a little bit quicker. Now, the downside is, is finding her, finding a spot for her on a speed farming team to get her cooldown and then to be able to use her special to still get the um, bypass your defensive effects. But being a 4 times captain, being a 4.5 times captain, this is still really, really nice. Her rumble, I don't know if she got any changes to rumble. 2,500 fixed damage uh, in a frontal large range, which is just 25% of uh, cooldowns for fighter slash streables. 6 speed up. And level 8 attack at level speed. So she's pretty stock standard. She's, I think she's pretty much exactly the same as what she was. So my overall opinions on this carrot is very, very good. She got a very, very good buff. They didn't do too much with her. But they sort of just... They just sort of... um, What, what am I trying to say? They sort of just filed off all of the loose ends. And sort of just made her a better all-round character. So 6 plus carrot. Get to tick in my books. I'll definitely be um, 6 plusing her and... I would highly recommend everyone do so if you do manage to pick up all those skulls during Kazuna. Let's take a look at the new Kazuna uh, unit now. It, that is Ivankov. So that's the um, the information for Carrot there as well in Rumble. If you guys want to have a look at that. Um, she's pretty much got all the same stuff. I still hate that she has um, damage reduction as strength. If they could have changed that with 6+, plus, I don't think they can. But if they could, that would have just made her infinitely better. Moving on to the free-to-play Ivankov. The one that we'll be farming up from Kazuna now. And I gotta say, I actually really like this Ivankov's arts. I, I, I'm a big fan of Ivankov. Um, and Ivankov's arts, to me, are just a lot of fun. He's captain. It's kind of like, who cares? But we will read it anyway. Free spirit and cerebral characters, 3.5, 1.2 HP. Heals three times recovery at the end of turn. It's it's whatever. I mean, 3.5 is pretty solid. And cerebral is very, and free spirit are both very, very good. So the special deals 100,000 fixed damage to all enemies. Reduces five turns of resilience. Five turns of percent damage reduction. Changes badly matching block, empty, and bomb orbs into matching orbs. And for one turn, boost free spirit and cerebral characters. BU. Two times. Ah, oh, bye. Right. <laughs> boost the attack. Okay, so she's... A, she, he, Ivankov. Um, Ivankov can rotate orbs, which is nice. Gives an attack boost, which is really, really good for a free-to-play unit. Two times isn't amazing, but still, like, it's possible for a free-to-play unit. As well as having some good utility. Resilience is kind of like whatever, but the percent damage reduction is pretty good. He has a Sailor ability, which is plus 50 recovery to free spirits and cerebrals, and will treat in orbs as beneficial. That's really good. That right there is actually really, really good. And that's not even for free spirit and cerebral units. You can use this anywhere you like. What color is Imankov? He is a int unit. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So he is an int unit as well. Which is kind of annoying, because if you use him on int-based teams, like, in orbs are already, like, beneficial. But, look, it is what it is. Uh, limit Break, he gets side damage reduction, and then he gets heal block reduction. His support is just stats, so who cares? His Rumble in a large range does one times his attack in damage. Level 6 attack down, which is actually really, really good, because this is very similar to the other free-to-play Imikov, as well as level 6 speed down. That's actually really, really good for the in team. Like, really, really good. Imikovs always have, like, really good Pirate Rumble abilities. It's just, it's it's weird. Uh, in allies, level 6 HP up. Like, int needed more HP, right? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so pretty good in Rumble. So definitely farm him up if you can. As um, he, he, he will actually see some play. Definitely see some play. So this is the info for Ivankov. If you guys want to check that out, it's uh, there for you guys as well. The final unit we're going to be talking about in today's video is the new Kazuna Rare Recruit Ivankov. Now, 
We were kind of all thinking, whoa, we've already got Legend Bon Clay this soon, but unfortunately, it is just a rare recruit. But his artwork is very, very nice. Captain Ability is the three times captain, HP 1.2 times, two free spirit and fighters. That's like, who cares? Unless this is boosted in um, Kazuna, it's not very good. It's just whatever. But he's special. That's the real reason that we are summoning for this guy. Six turns of threshold damage reduction, as well as six turns of uh, resilience removal. So very similar to Ivankov. I don't understand why you need so much resilience removal. Like, 11 turns of resilience removal is a bit overkill, but, I mean, it's like, you've got this or you've got that. So it still should work. What color is Ivankov? He is... Ah, uh, sorry, Born Clay. He is a strength unit. Okay. That's weird. I would have made him, like, quick or something. Maybe Dex. All right, but he removes... Where are we? Damage reduction, resilience, six turns of specialty on the crew, and when the enemy has a delay or debuff protection, for one turn, boost color affinity of normal attacks of free spirit and fighters by two times. Boost the color affinity of normal attacks of free spirit and fighters by 1.75 otherwise. So, just a color affinity booster. Um, nothing too amazing, but the special seal is actually really nice as he completely bypasses the special seal on himself. He gives some stats to free spirit and fighters as a sailor as well. And then his limit break, he has pinch healing and heat heal reduction. His support, once per adventure, when the supported character triggers a special, which is two turns of threshold on that character, which is actually amazing. Like, that is a really, really good support. Two turns of threshold is just infinitely better than, like, so auto-triggering when they have, they put up the two turns of threshold is just infinitely better than using the special. Downside is he doesn't go on that many characters. Um, Ivankov, the best Ivankov, in my opinion, is Ivankov Bon Clay, so there's that. Any Azuma needs, like, a better, like, rare recruit, in my opinion, or just, like, some sort of decent representation. Buggy is a good one. Buggy will actually most likely the most most likely be the most character you use on this. Buggy or Crocodile. If Crocodile ever gets a V2, like, Crocodile just has, like, some of the best supports in the game. And Daz Bones, he has a really good, um, Mr. One. He has a really good rare recruit. So, if you are using him, you can remove even more, like, defensive effects with him. So, pretty good unit. Um... Nothing too amazing, though, but definitely not a bad uh, Kazuna Rare Recruit, nonetheless. The final uh, unit, actually, we have here is a free Kazuna Booster Buggy. He will be a, like, farmable character for you guys. Um, he's uh, Captain, who cares? Special block badly matching orbs into matching orbs. And during Kazuna, he gives four turns of blind removal, as well as four turns of defense up. Uh, and then he does 50 HP to Dream characters. He is a Dex character, and that is about it. So, once again, big shout-out to Koala-san as well as Summit for all of the translations. Big shout out to the OPTC Discord as well for all of the information provided, as well as, I'm assuming, the database when it actually hits up on the database. Uh, if they have nothing to do with it, then look, it is what it is. But that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to go down there and belt that like button for me. And if you are new to my channel and you're enjoying the OPTC content, hit the big red subscribe button too. But guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Lights!